Folks, it's time for some astonishing fun facts about Purdue University football. Let's do it. Folks, Purdue University began playing intercollegiate football in 1887. In their first game, and only game that year, they lost to Butler College, now Butler University, 48-6. Butler College was named after Ovid Butler. Why don't we name people Ovid anymore? That's a great name. Now the name Ovid comes from a Roman poet named Ovidius Naso, who wrote poems in Rome in the first century about love. Dearest, I want you to know I love you, but what I really want is to beat Purdue. When Purdue hired their first coach, Albert Berg, they gave him one dollar for every lesson in football he gave the squad. All right, men, gather around. Everybody gather around. Be quiet. Take a knee. All right, here's your first lesson in football. Get more than a dollar for giving out football lessons as coach, okay? I'm starving out here. In 1891, Knowlton Lyman Ames nicknamed Snake, became the head coach. He took Purdue to a stellar 12-0 record. Snake was a stellar player at Princeton, scoring an amazing 730 points over his career, which is a college football record unofficially. It's unofficial because the NCAA didn't start keeping track of points officially until 1937. And to give you a comparison, the current record for career points is around 500. So 730 is much higher, obviously. The reason for that is that in those days, they scored just a little bit differently. See, Snake, he got six points uh, for every touchdown. And then uh, the, in those days, they gave you five points for every shot of Jägermeister you did after you scored. Folks, those have been some astonishing fun facts about Purdue University football. Wait till we get into why they're called the Boilermakers. Whoa, that's going to be fun. Until then, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.